and welcome once again. My name is Mrs. Ginge, and uh, we're playing another game that has a photosensitivity warning. You see that up there? Yeah. This is the uh, Ghostwire prelude. We are actually going to be playing that game, and I'm mean, super excited because you can pet doggos and and finger black ghosts. Pew 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 pew. Baby, you your fucking leap motion can't do that, bitch! <laughs> Anyways, welcome everybody. Uh, I want to say so far, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And let's go all with it, bitches. It's by my favorite devs, the book devs, the team. I fucking love them. <laughs> okay, it's not right by that team. They just burn it the same. I'm gonna get fisted, I think. Bam, 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 faster, faster, faster. Cause I have ADHD, yeah. Faster, 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 yeah. Faster, yeah. Okay, the audio is pretty fucking loud. It should be good. Oh, I did it. Anyways, let's get fucking back into it. It's new game. Hell yeah. I can see. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Rinko. God damn it, Rinko! <laughs> Attica. I have allergies. Leave me alone. Oh, you're so cute. No one wants to talk about it, but it's all that's on anyone's mind these days. Mysterious things are happening all around Shibuya. Sightings, attacks, disappearances, fear. Fear. How is a kid supposed to be a kid in a time like this? You know, I think that every single fucking day with my son. I'm not. I'm gonna be real with you. I think about that every single fucking day. But honestly, Riona never really was like most kids. He's not usually glued to his phone all day. <laughs> Pornhub. Just kidding. Uh, Riona's concern brings him to a mysterious case file posted online. It's titled the. Kitty go Gaoka vanishing. God, I'm so good. I'm so good. <laughs> like, comment and subscribe, guys. <laughs> uh, he reads it to himself the best he can. Having tracked another report of dark fog to the area, I arrived to find it had passed, leaving dreary rain hanging over the neighborhood. At the scene, all we found were clothes of a mother and a son left behind like two molted cicada shells. Like the fucking uh, rapture fucking happened. The fucking rapture happened. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anywho. Uh, previous life snuffed out forever. My heart sank knowing that I had failed to protect them. It was the worst feeling I'd ever had, as if on cue, the rain started pouring down. Don't let the. Oh, wait, wrong side. Heavier and heavier fell with each passing minute, but I couldn't be bothered to take up my umbrella. I came from a place where if you used your umbrella, you were pointed out as an outsider. Plus, not to mention when you're in the state of Washington and you're on the central side of things, you kind of, the, the rain is different, you know? <laughs> it's not really a wet rain. <laughs> so you stand out like a bitch. Don't use your bro when you're in the fucking coast of Washington state. You got it. All right. Okay, anywho. Um, my tea's going to take the table out. Uh, that's when the obvious culprits returned to the scene of the crime, a group of monsters. They had umbrellas of their own, as if rain followed them. Wherever they go, I was furious. I brought hell down onto them at that very moment. Probably used my finger guns. Pew, 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 pew. I fucking love this shit. <laughs> they tried to protect themselves with the umbrellas, but I just kept pounding them. Uh, until they were battered and broken, I was exhausted. I could have fallen over at any moment, but my utter wrath kept me going. Ha! As I picked up the leave, I still refused to open up my own umbrella because I ain't no bitch. Uh, I just walked away, rain pouring and soaking me to the bone. 
KK. <gasps> Animal Crossing, what? Hello? Hmm. It's also on my Animal Crossing videos, it's still on my top watch videos. Like, what the fuck, guys? Am I gonna have to get fucking back into that shit? We wanna. Actually, I really do want to. I don't have the shit for Anywho! The Marunouchi Vanishing! Oh, bathroom! Hell yeah, bathroom! Can monsters really live among us? These case files say that. Yes, they absolutely can and do. According to this one, a lady called me about a missing person who vanished from the bathroom of her apartment. Usually I'd brush it off as another runaway, but after seeing the crow circling above her apartment, I had a feeling there'd be more to this. The black stains on the front door verify my hunch. It turns out that I'm the only one that can see these black stains. Ugh. The lady who lived there and showed me in made no signs of noticing. She showed me the bathtub and gave me a play-by-play -play of what happened. Ten hook! Her boyfriend was taking a bath longer than usual, so she went to the bathroom and checked on him. Oh. Maybe he wants a bathtub fun. Wait, this is in Japan. Do they have fun in the bathtub? Yo. Like, comment, and subscribe if they have fun in the bathtub, too. It's kind of a nasty place to have fun in. You know, just, you just soak in your field. Anywho! Uh, when she opened the door, her boyfriend was gone, and for a short instant, there was a reflection of an old shrine on the surface of the bath water. What the fuck? I ran my finger on the rim of the bathtub, and there was a transparent, sticky, slime-like substance on it. A reflection of a shrine shone on the water's surface. I need to talk further with my team about this incident to see if these things ring any bells. I purged the black stain on the front door and then left the scene. Poor lady. When will she do now? What can any of us do? Yo, that place is going to be haunted as fuck. KK. I guess I'll read this one too. Unable to shake the idea that monsters are all around him. Ryota navigates on his phone to a document called The Marunouchi Vanishing. How they do? <laughs> Private! <laughs> the language is complicated, but he works to understand it. It says, Ginge can't read shit for balls, especially names of places. <laughs> I got a tip on a missing woman from Ma Marunouchi. <sighs> when you've been a detective as long as I have, you tend to build up a big network of contacts. The story of my contact told me was that they saw the woman one day when the fog rolled in. It blinked the area, and then poof. And poof. She was gone. Oh, God. Uh, times like these make me wish a certain somebody was around. Come to think of it, the fog and these disappearances set the scene for when I first met the rest of my crew. Everybody kept talking about folks just up and disappearing, and I thought it was a load of horse shit. It wasn't until I met them, and until my encounter, and I believed. Ever since then, I've been haunted by what I would have once called hallucinations. Turns out, being able to see spirits and monsters isn't a fantasy movie nonsense after all. Guess I should be thankful, because otherwise I wouldn't have seen through that monster taking the form of a woman. Bear chicka bear wow. Bear chicka bear wow. She made a bunch of red orbs appear that chased me around, but I knew so long as I didn't let myself get run I'd be okay. Oh my god, it was like a game I played earlier today. Uh, she was a nightmare to look at, so I put her out of her misery. When I searched the scene, I spotted a woman's handbag, found the missing lady's ID cards in there. Then I came across some clothes that looked like they would have been hers. They were in a little pile, but the way they had fallen made it clear her body had just poof, vanished. Just vanished. Ha 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 ha. No mistaking those handiwork it was either. I finally managed to get my hands on a solid enough lead to work with. KK. Did I already read this one? I thought I read this one. Ugh. I guess not. In these posts, the kid had found something, or rather someone. Someone called KK has been looking into monsters in this part of town. A believer. Just like Ryota. Social media would never lie. Never. <laughs> and that means KK is an expert. Maybe the, the, the expert in all things paranormal. Fear guns! Pew, 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 I can't fucking wait. Why is that broken? 
There's only one thing left to do. Having poured over every story post and Grady photo out about the local monsters we could find, Ryota prepares to take action. I'm going to ask this KK guy to help. Just got to figure out where he lives. Sagasu? What could the world go? Oh, boy, that's you. Oh, shit. Ghostwire contact. Um, oh, shit. Dear Mr. Investigator Person. What is with this fucking little shit smirk he got? He vanished. Then he turned to a ghost. Oh, hey, girl. Hi. Dear Mr. Investigator Person. Hello, how are you? I'm not good, and I am needing your help. Monsters got my best friends. <gasps> Sasuke! I probably woke up to the meese around me. I'm sorry, meeseies and mooseies and everything. Go back to sleep. I'm protecting this world of ghosts. And evil ghosts mostly. And yokai. And Nancy Brown from Phasmophobia. You know that bitch is in here. Uh, anyway, uh, Ranko sits up in her chair. She zeroed in on one of the dozen monitors from across the makeshift command center stuffed into this cramped Tokyo apartment. It happened near a manhole. Please help me get him back. I'm sure she's fine. Data flies across the screen, seemingly too much. Charts and graphs, maps and mathematical equations, even social media feeds and open case files. Somehow through all those screens and all that clutter, wrote a message. It catches Rinko's eye. Just one eye. You see, just wait there. This is the one I want down. You just wait. It's right there. You guys see it? It's right there. That's, that's the only eye. It's right there. <laughs> Sounds desperate, but it could just some bored kid trolling us. Kids don't troll. Pfft. I wouldn't know. <laughs> they troll all the time. Tom McCoven and Rinko insists on balancing compassion with skepticism in her <laughs> analytic approach. <laughs> On the other hand, that manhole is within the vicinity of several recent incidents. Maybe he is involved. She knows what she thinks, but she also knows no one can protect Tokyo all by themselves. Trusting your teammates is the only way to keep everyone safe. What do you make of it, Ed? Man, you kind of look like a fucking Ed. You pour your glasses are so convincing. Let me just pour that out there. Ed squints and takes a single deep breath as he turns to the screen. He has something to say, but holds it back. Technology is easy. People are hard. They're hard. Instead of speaking up, he plays a small recorder on his desk. He presses play, and as the audio begins to roll, Ed turns and walks away. I've heard intriguing stories about so-called manhole girls in Japan. <laughs> they can't be girls. <laughs> Eventual ghosts of bullied students said the trickular students didn't fall under the sewer. So what? The girls just like got bullied <laughs> and got murdered in the manhole. And then they're like, oh, look, a boy. He probably bullied me. I'm going to go get his ass and fucking kill him. Yeah, sounds all right, actually. From where they never return. Ever. If any information turns up about such anomalies, I'd be keen to investigate. Though I speak purely out of personal interest, it might not be enough to make the rest of my team pursue it without further evidence. Oh, you spoke. Okay, safe to say, since you somehow found the time to record something this specific about a single urban legend, that you want to look into it. Ed is already engrossed in other work. He doesn't respond. He certainly doesn't notice when Rinko rolls her eyes. <laughs> we all know she totally rolled her eyes. Probably best we have no idea how you spend your free time. Huh, Ed? Eric has been sitting next to Rinko this entire time, listening and waiting for the right time to chime in. That time is... Want me to check it out? I don't think so, Erica. It could be dangerous. What if something happens to you? Why is it so quiet? Super fucking quiet. What the fuck? You still don't trust me to go out by myself for five minutes in the middle of, of the day? Jeez, you guys, girls. Uh, at 16 years old, Rinko might be right not to trust Erica on something dangerous. But Rinko knows that Erica has shown maturity beyond her years. She gives Erica an almost sisterly look of skepticism. You know it's not that.
Uh, Rinko quickly turns back to her mo monitors and way for all America. She's just gonna fucking punch a bitch. But for all her maturity, Erica can't quite keep from pouting. So I'm making that face. Besides, we've got our own private detective in the vicinity. I'll have him take a look. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh! <coughs> water! <coughs> uh, the stall is brimming as a wide array of customers eat in relative silence. The only sound they make is <coughs> of noodles. A silent breaks, but a phone begins to vibrate upon the countertop. I'm gonna have to turn that weight up. If there's any sound distortion, I apologize. Because, like, I only turned it down a little bit because the beginning screen was, like, super fucking loud. I didn't turn it down that much. The owner ignores it, choosing to focus on his meal instead. The phone doesn't care about his hunger and continues to vibrate. <laughs> Some fucking phones. Why don't you care about our hunger phones? Why? <laughs> The phone wins. The peace and solitude have shattered. This is no way to enjoy noodles. God damn it! The silent diner finally glances at the screen. He begins to mutter himself. Another case. These people have me working harder than my enemies ever did. Can't even get five minutes to enjoy a nice, quiet lunch. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I can actually be like, no, I don't want to speak to you. Oh, hello? Uh, let me guess. I'll be risking life in them. That's why you let it ring for so long? Too scared to pick up, you little bitch? Ha, <laughs> you know the exact day I stopped being scared of anything. The day you stopped being a loner and hooked up with us so we could have your back. Sure, that works. Besides, I'm not fool enough to pretend this team isn't half okay. If you need backup, you know I'll be there. No questions asked. I actually already volunteered, but... Right now, there's nothing dangerous to be worried about. It's a simple check-in on a report of some suspicious activity that might be connected to these phenomena we've been looking into. Earth, is that you? Or did I cause my own earthquake? Okay, they were chill. Maybe it's a ghost. <gasps> Uh, weird read that, right? I don't know. It always the simple cases that go south that fastest. You know what? You're right. Maybe Erica should run point on this one. Sure, she's just a kid, but you're busy. Whoa, hold up. Let's not sacrifice the rookie to make me look bad. I'm running out. Send me the info and I'll get on it. First, though, I need to talk to one of you about something. Oh, I want to talk to her. Eager to get out there, huh, Erica? Chase some thrills. No, not thrill-seeking. It's my duty. I have to help. I don't have a choice. Listen, kid. You always have a choice, but I get it. It's a thing inside that tells us we can make a difference. It's a burden, but also keeps us going. You just gotta know when to use it and when to hold it tight. Otherwise, it'll carry you away. I'll never let that happen to me. I won't be like him. What he did was unforgivable. Ooh. I know you won't, Rinko, and I would never allow it. You just have to follow our lead. That's your job, huh? Make sure I don't stray too far from the pack. Ow! One of my jobs, and I'm damn good at it. Rita doesn't notice the people passing him on the street. They don't notice him either. He is young, but he is very much alone. Aw, Ryota! His focus is centered on the small bit of paper in his hands. After a couple of folds, the paper finds a familiar configuration. With head, arms, and body, it takes a shape of palm size perfect to the... Oh god, this brings back fucking corpse party fucking vibes. I hate it. As Rita inspects his creation, someone who has been observing him from afar steps out of the shadows. What you got there, little boy? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Oh, he got the finger! A pew 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 pew! A pew pew pew! A pew pew! Stick him up! <laughs> Rihanna looks up. He's nervous, but clutches the paper doll in his hand to stay brave. He's not running or hiding, despite the gruff stranger staring at him. No need to be afraid. I'm not here to do anything bad to you or your little friend. Come it! I've been known to carry the old paper doll with me on investigation. Strange habit, I know. 
But you get the benefits of a partner without the annoying small talk. Ryoto's shoulders ease and lifts his guard down as he listens to the detective and re-examines the folded paper. The detective surprises himself with his playful tone. He's rusty, but he somehow still feels comfortable talking to the scared kid. Sometimes paper dolls are used for magical purposes. <laughs> you sorcerer by chance? Now is the time to tell me! You gotta fucking tell me, eh? Yeah? I gotta go. Go pew pew pew. Go pew 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 pew. I gotta go pew 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 pew. Pew pew. <laughs> and so you really are him, huh? Let me add more specific, kid. You're KK, the ghost hunter from the files. You must be. I just thought you'd be taller. Damn, get fucked. They say you solve strange mysteries. Right? KK, maybe. <laughs> the detective looks closely at Ryota's phone. He sees the social media post featuring photos of various case files he has worked on, collected in one place. <sighs> it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, I think. It's like 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Look, I only use those initials because writing out my name is a pain, and I got too much pain already. Not your problem, right? Anyhow, that's me, KK. Um, but I'm not a ghost hunter. I'm a detective. KK's demeanor hardens a bit, dropping the playfulness. You want an investigator, kid? Well, you got one! I think he brought his guitar with him. I'm so glad you're going to look into the disappearances of manholes. Here's the thing I already did. Made some calls on the way here. There's no record of any recent disappearances. Still got a few friends on the force, so I can dig up dirt quick. KK shoots real to serious thought. Not trying to pull fast on me. Are you okay? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, pew, 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 <laughs> It's true, honest. My buddy Sasuke disappeared. He hasn't come home since yesterday. Last place I saw him was right back here. Yona mentions the alleyway behind him. He went down that way. I tried to fall, but I couldn't find him. He was completely gone. If Yoda is bluffing, he's an incredible liar. Sadness comes over him when he looks back toward the alley. Oh, he's so, so fucking well faced. You guys see him well faced right here? He's so fucking faced. Look at his fucking face. Oh, he's so sad. You just want to go, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay. Chill the fuck out. KK looks back and forth from the kid and then to the alleyway behind him. And at all alleys are dark, but this one looks like it's never seen daylight. See any fog when that happened, the moment he disappeared. Now that you mention it, there has been something spooky around, like a kind of fog or darkness, but it came and it went. All right, I put my finger gun away. Kiki muttered something to himself as he eyeballs the only way behind Ryota. Nothing looks immediately out of place with so much going down in the city. Some kid getting lost doesn't exactly seem like front page news. Uh, I don't think he's bluffing though. I need more to go on, kid. Why are you so convinced he was taken? Didn't it happen to anyone else around here? But it did happen to my best friend. Sasuke's been missing for two days. Everyone's been looking, but no one could find him. What about his parents? Have they filed a police report? I'm the only one who really cares about Sasuke. I know he needs me. Yeah, we go back. And no one else is even looking for him anymore. Just me. He's looking to have you. It's like when you saw Crow circling above the building in one of the cases you investigated. You knew there was more to it than everyone else. Well, Mr. KK, I know there's more to Sasuke's disappearance. I just need your help. You really did your homework, huh? I'm impressed. You're more dedicated than most adults I know. You remind me of my friend Erica. She lost someone too, and she'll never stop fighting for them either. KK takes another glance at the alley. All right, show me exactly where the Sasuke pile of yours disappeared. With my finger gun! Beep, 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 beep. I'll never stop. I'll fucking never stop. I'll never stop. <laughs> Ryota perks up. So you're gonna look into it. I'm here, ain't I? Let me check in with my team and see if they finger anything out. Could save us some time. Kick it reaches for his phone. What's up? We're all in here. We're all here. I just need a quick word warning you to follow up on what the kid had told me. 
Ring, 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 with banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. I'm gonna talk to this bitch. You find anything else? I know you've been searching all over your fancy computer. Some morning details have started to emerge. The type of details that mean he is for sure involved. Social media is starting to fill up with posts about appearance of a mysterious dark fog. It's been popping up neighborhoods with similar data sets to the one Ryoto has called from. School absences are also on the rise. I can't confirm if those represent actual disappearances or just spook kids trading scary stories, but it's clear. Fear and paranoia are taking hold. Yeah, I figured out that, out that much. Oh, really? You carry a fear and paranoia detector now? Did Ed develop that when I wasn't paying attention? Also, I love the little waste going in on his phone. Yours on that force are what gave me the fear detector. You can't beat experience! But I do appreciate your input, even if I already knew it all. Ryota! Time to find Sasuke. Nothing looks out of place, but things are rarely what they seem. Kiki slowly delivers out his He's not holding on anything, but you would think that he is by the way he's moving. He got some invisible dangling from his fingertips. It's his finger gun. Yoda has no clue what he's trying to do, but he watches closely. However, what happens next can only be seen by Kiki's eyes. As Kiki opens his fingers, a Sparkling orb of energy drops from his hand down to the ground. It ripples like water in a still pond. Energy flowing outward into the world. Hot. What? Did I see someone running? <gasps> there he goes. There he goes again. A strange trail floats into view, as though a spirit has passed through this place. Psychic energy. The trail leads further on, deeper into the alley and out of view. Guess he went that way. Puzzle Rita follows Kiki's eye line down the alley, but sees nothing out of the ordinary. What happened? I don't see anything. Trust me, kid. It's good you can't see it. This is a power you don't want. And you're too young for it. To take risks like that and, and change your life forever. <laughs> to take a risk like that and change your life forever. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, the world's a scary place. Let's keep getting worse. We're going to find your friend and get you back to your life. Please. Daddy KK. KK and Rinko are in big trouble this time, running like rats for free to stay alive. With only a dingy so old soap put between them? What the fuck's going on? MONSTERS! <laughs> we better find another exit. Rinko turns to KK and sees him holding his head. He appears to be in great pain. Damn it, it's happening again. Your body's reacting to, that, to the ether. Whoa. All right. I found the flashing lights. Look away. Oh, guy tries to focus, but rather than reform, everything continues to spook. I'm going to barf. I'm barf. Oh, God. Yes, I get it. We're fucking entering some fucking bullshit to have pew pew finger gun. Mr. KK? Are you okay? Sorry, kid. My mind can be a little hard to control. You just kind of stood there for a little while. Sometimes my, man my memories take me places. Hate to leave you alone again, but you need to wait here while I look for your pal. Sit tight. It won't be long. There he goes. There he goes again. A report on Rinko's computer set flashes on screen. Ed's monitoring software has hold of something big. The results are clear. Spiritual residue. And it's exactly at KK's location. What is it now? Oh, the phone's like fucking broken. Was the phone like... Oh, no. It's uh, one of their phones. We just received an alert. There was a massive surge of spiritual energy at your location. Hold off on pursuing until we're able to send support. Can't wait forever for you guys. We might have a missing child on our hands. 
I got plenty of evidence. I know what I'm getting myself into. Remember, fog reports are increasing. There's fear in the streets. Time to act. Of course I know those things. I'm the one who told you, dumbass. I also know how dangerous it is getting out there. This time could be even worse than the last. What if he, he shows up? Wish he would. Suck my dick. Uh, excited to see that mask napping too. And when I put my fist through it, and now I'm going to go pew, 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 pew up his anal passage. His butthole. <laughs> it's not fair to ask us for help when you think you need us. Then you use our own words against us when you're too impatient to act as a team. We're in this together. KK decides to address one team member. Um, I want to talk to myself. <laughs> Fuck, what do I do? Yeah, I'm just going to talk all of them for one little thing. The hunger I have to solve this case is as good as any science experiment you can conduct to get to the bottom of it. How many times have my instincts been proven right by all your high-tech gadgetry? That's not something I keep tally of. As you can see with my beautiful bracelet, my very straight fucking tie over here. The purpose of my work isn't to prove you right. But it happens all the time. I'm out in the street, pressing into darkness, trusting my instincts. I can't be waiting for you all to download a software update. I feel like you're trivializing my work quite a bit. Of course, I'm extremely thankful when I can assist you, but my primary goal as a scientist and a paranormal investigator is much greater than any individual day-to-day -day goals. And that's exactly my point. We all need to focus on what we do best, and what I do best is not waiting around. I'm impatient as fuck, bitches! We can all agree that you're not good at that. I must say, I quite admire grit, and I do not envy the stress that a city like Tokyo must place on a detective who just wants to do his job. However, I would remind you in nature, a lone wolf typically is alone for long. They are alone only until they find a new pack or become prey themselves. That may actually be correct. But sure as hell takes the coolness out of it. It's just so cool. It's so cool. So cool. So cool. So cool. The, the, so cool! It's so kawaii! <laughs> you can't disagree with that. I just try to act cool in the most responsible way possible. I was back as drunk as I fucking I go to bed. I can't read no more. I'll talk to you later. I'm in the middle of this game. See ya. Peace. Bye. Love you. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> He's never any good at following people's directions. That adjective is, is precisely what saved our hides for on countless occasions. You don't think I realize that? Erica smiles, thinking about KK's attitude. It doesn't bother her. Heck, she's fucking 16. What the f Oh, man, hot. I like a bitch with no head. Damn, they're everywhere. KK's eyes dart between the two horrific figures and to some incredibly strange glowing crystals that hover nearby. As he tries to speak, KK wheezes. <gasps> That's an airy fucking day. What would happen if someone tried to touch one of those other crystals? Your guess is good as mine. Might give you the power to fight back. Might just make you even more miserable. Who can say? What about him? Did it grant him strength? Rinko nods silently. After getting his answer, Kiki without hesitation stretches his hands out toward the crystals with his two fingers out. And it's time to go pew pew at the crystal. Now go pew pew. Wait, stop! Stopping not an option, not for any of us. You don't know what will happen. It could kill you. And those things won't. We're dead if we don't try something. We aren't out of options yet. You've thrown away everything to fight these monsters. Same as me. There's not a goddamn thing left to lose at this point. Before Rinko can say anything else, Kiki reaches all the way out. <gasps> Crystals for a finger gun. I will finger gun. Go pew pew pew. Oh shit, dude. Yo, that boy's fucking. That, that, that boy's. He's, he's fucking down there. <laughs> Alright, Kiki follows the trail of psychic energy deeper into the dark Shibuya alleyway. Away from the glow of familiar street lights and vending machines. His venture into the unseen brings him to a manhole cover where the spirit residues flashes with an air intensity. <laughs> to 
The spot is clear of the erosion. Point where the whatever spirit is <laughs> Do they take it this way? Sasuke! Kiki looks around and finds nothing focuses attention on this haunted manhole. Oh, God! Oh. The spectral vision shows KK a lot more than he thought it might. Revealing a glowing specter hovering in this dark and dreary place. The spirit of a man in his studies. A Jibakure. Nailed it. Fucking nailed it. According to Japanese lore, this type of spirit is trapped in a physical location. Okay, specter, what's keeping you tied down there, you bitch? I got my finger going, me, me, me. Specter seems unable to answer him and said he mutters as if distracted or perhaps completely delirious. Either or, maybe both. Specters aren't especially concerned about his politeness or clarity. None of them is going anywhere until I get some answers. Got my finger going out. I need to know what you're doing here. Specifically at this manhole cover. Why haunt this place? I thought it was this kid. Just a kid playing around. Just having fun alone. I wanted to make sure he was safe. Oh, the fucker talks. Holy shit. So just being neighborly, eh? You know, not making a friend, protecting, but he wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a kid, though, was it? There was something else, something lurking in these shadows? Did I die? I think I died. This wasn't what I was expecting. Who was it? A monster. A monster. The specter points downwards. Underneath, huh? Kiki stares at the manhole as though if he looked just hard enough, he can suddenly see what lurks in the darkness beneath his cover. He doesn't have to see the specter nod to know he's right. It went that way. Sprague could pull up the manhole cover and see for himself along shadow creeps in the from the edge of the alleyway. Did you find anything? Snooping around the sex business. You don't belong back here. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Who is this youngster? Only I can hear you, so don't bother. <gasps> oh my god, there's a bunch of vampire series I know where there's one bitch. She talks to mannequins. Only, only she can hear the mannequins be speaky speaky. Hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> only you can hear me. Well, sure, nobody else is even here. This is turning into a damn clown show. Can I need you to stay here while I go down? It's not safe for you there. Not safe. Not safe. Monster! But how do you know I'll be safe up here? My team's one call away. They'll get here quick if you're in danger. Shit. We're just saying something about being in the middle of an investigation. I'm too busy to talk to anyone. Funny you should mention that. Could actually use some help. I believe they call it client services. We calling these, mister. Are they nice like you or nicer? Client service, it sounds more like babysitting to me. If only you would just wait for us to get there. We play the hand we're dealt and juggling work and childcare has never been my strong suit. I need a little support. Nico sighs. A long time since I have a frustrated person who knows that in the end, of course, they'll help. She'll always help him. Just as he will always help her. And I have the perfect candidate in mind. The bitch! Attica! She's the only kid I actually know and like anymore. Hey, KK, you need my help? I could be there ASAP. I do need your help, but it can't wait. My new friend, Ryota, the one who called us for help, he is a little... F oh, he, is he a little afraid of you? What? No. Why would, he think, why would you think that? I mean, yeah, maybe a little. But no, that's not it. Although, it'd be better if he did fear me. Then I could do my work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really aren't that scary. I think I get it. Let me talk to him. Kiki hands his phone to Ryota and mentions for him to accept this call. Hi, yes! Is this Mr. Ryota? Yes. So excited I get to speak with you. I've heard that you're quite the investigator. I need some help from someone like you. What could I do to help you? Well, our friend who is there with you, he is actually has two missions since he's looking for your friend. Maybe you could swap and look for my friend. Oh, shit. If we share this responsibility, I'm sure that we can achieve success together. As a team. As a, as a team. Team. I can't do fists this way. Oh, nope, I did. As a team. As a team. As a team. 
I suppose I could try to help you since he's helping me. Okay, but first, can you keep it a secret? It's very important and related to this mission. Yes, I'm the best at secrets. I won't tell you how. Well, that's true, yeah. My friend is a cat. Oh my god. No. Ah, meow. Put tracker on her collar. It says she is nearby you in the alley by your house. I miss her dearly. I'm a little embarrassed to admit, but some of my best friends are animals. Aww. Your secret's safe with me. What does she look like? She's all black with one white spot and a few white whiskers. Her name is Monet. Monet? Mo Monet? Monet. It has to be Monet. Like the painter. Wow, if I just put it like that. <laughs> Finger gun! <laughs> uh, truck's high. Can you look closely in between and behind all the vending machines and the trash cans? Just be safe. Text me a picture of every dark corner you can find. She's good at camouflage and easy to miss. Oh, my word. Your hand hands the phone back to KK and turns his attention to the nearest trash can. Going out, he seems to be inspecting each side of it. Lucky for you, your new buddy is an animal lover just like me. I've given him a rescue mission to find a missing cat and send me a photo of it. But what if he succeeds? Tons of strays here. He might actually bump into one. Go ahead, use more cat pics. Text it to me. And maybe he'll give it a home. That's what it needs. Win win! Now I get down there I find and find your pal, Sasuke. I thought this was going to be shorter than this. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be real wrong. Dirty water splashes under Keiko's feet as if he makes his way through the still darkness of Shibuya's sewers. The further he goes, the darker it gets, but not because of any change in light. No, this darkness is unnatural. In fact, it's not darkness at all. It's tangible. Dense fog made of spiritual energy fills the air. Dark the paranormal waste coats the ground and plugs into the drain. Oh, fuck! What the fuck is that? But the air, the air itself is rejecting him. This corruption flows between worlds and reaches around him, blocking KK's way! He my balls! Mine has been building up right below our feet. Is it like this everywhere? As KK goes deeper, the Kigari only increases? There's definitely something here, and there's this much corruption swirling around. Nothing I can't handle, though. Alone in the darkness, KK summons his powers! Good, good, good. And. Oh, pew pew. My. Oh. My. I go pew 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 pew. Oh, I get a trace! Bear, 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 Kigari now cleared, as if the w we were waiting for a moment of safety. Someone appeared. It's a bitch with an umbrella. Sasuke, is that you? That better not be fucking Sasuke. I swear to God, I'm gonna quit. Small boy avoids Kiki's looks, turning his back and pricking something on the ground. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Hey kid, you okay? Can you hear me? Are you hiding from something? Oh my god, I was just kidding. I was just fucking kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, get this in the time, please answer me. I'm not trying to scare you. I can't work. <laughs> in the vast darkness of the sewer, the sound of the KK's phone suddenly rings out, the tiny chime echoing back and forth around the hall of space. Small boy in the raincoat doesn't seem to notice. He must be very preoccupied. I'm close. I found Sasuke, but I'm worried. He won't. Muffled sounds. Down so far, the signal. KK's phone is barely holding on. He can only make out a few sounds or struggles to make out what the words they might be forming. Muffled sounds. Hello? Anybody there? Ranko? Is that you? Ed? Attica? Who is this? Oh. Well, I mean, it has her face on, though. Wow, 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 wow. Attica, can you hear me? Are you with Ryota? Can you ask him? Was Sasuke wearing a yellow raincoat? The scratchy connection makes it almost impossible to understand. S 
Sasuke. About Sasuke. Not Erica. I can't understand. Sasuke's not what? Not Sasuke. Kyle cuts out. The phone going down in Kiki's hands. Damn! Enough screwing around, Sasuke! You little shit! Just like that, finally, as it called by his mother to come to dinner, the child responds. He stands up, turns to Kiki with his dead, evil eyes. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! You're not Sasuke. You're the monster! Oh, what's the little thing in your little hand? You got a little whistle in your hand? Kiki raises his hand. It calls an energy that you discovered that day long ago. Finger gone. Go pew, 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 pew. That you found his back against the wall, reaching out and touching the other's crystal. Ever heard of the ethereal weaving monster? Energy surges in the kicker's hand. Green lights winding and glowing, charging around his fingertips. The increasingly bright light glows, illuminating the tunnel. And in that moment, standing in the center of the tunnel, we can see this monster, this raincoat visitor, just in time for it to press a child's whistle to its mouth and <laughs> Oh, it's our bitch. It's him. At a stranger's fingertips lies KK, now a prisoner. I need my subject to remain calm or else something will get done. Despite being captured, KK flashes a stranger in a fierce glare. It's so fucking fierce. So fucking fierce! You son of a bitch! Hello, my new friend. I'm keen to see how useful your vessel turns out to be. The stranger takes out something and holds it in his hands. An amulet, though clearly not simple for or simply for decoration, it surges with power. He looks from the amulet back to Kike and smiles. You gonna catch me like a Pokemon? Gotta catch a mom, Pokemon. Oh, as the monstrous little raincoat visitor blows his whistle, he steps back into the shadow of darkness. Running away, huh? But he's not running away at all. In fact, he's only making space. Oh, for much <laughs> too large. <laughs> Far more horrifying visitors to show up and challenge KK. I've been waiting to run into you again. Let's go, you bastards. Oh, I like that one. Uh, stops visitors from moving. It'll become... Oh. Damn it. Um. Fuck it. I don't know what I'm doing. Umbrella visitors are frozen in place. Only one sin talisman is left. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! One umbrella visitor is injured. The umbrella visitor awakens from the sun. I shall protect my nuts! A bear appears in front of KK. The brother is attacked, but attack is deflected by the barrier. The barrier is broken. Um, I mean, shit, dudes. Ha! The brother attacks. Protect my nuts! But its attack is affected by the barrier. The barrier is broken. Um, uh, I'm gonna freeze you. Present place. You have no more stun talismans. It's okay, man. Get fucked. Ah! It's injured. Awakens from the sun. And you're dead! Pew, 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 pew. Finger goes! Pew, pew, pew. Should be dead. You're done! Can I finish him with my weird sewing fingers? The fight now over the sewer alley come again. Kiki swoops to space looking for any clues that may be left behind. Why would a pack of monsters manifest their evil here? But then he sees it affixed to one wall of the tunnel. A wooden tag, sometimes called a kifuda. This must be what some of those things. Kiki reaches out to take the kabuta down, but his fingertips approach it. What? What? I read that weird. Ha! Rinko? God damn it, Rinko! Attica? Kiki feels a big, quick thump through his body. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks like he sees someone else's arm stabbing through his chest. It's horrifying. And black smoke rushes out of his body. It looks like he's a dead fucking bitch. <laughs> Looking back up, KK sees a man wearing a Hanya mask. Your him. Gasp. As KK comes to, he realizes that he is on the tunnel once again. No, still. He looks at his chest. It's totally fine. No gaping hole. Not even a scratch. Sweating, breathing heavily. His mind races. It was a horrible dream. Maybe a vision. He grips the kabuta in his hands. I won't let him get away with this. So hard that it smashes into pieces. Oh. At that moment, Kiki realizes he's not actually alone. Distracted by his fear, he had missed the approach of someone new. Who is there? Surprised, he spins the face of this entity. But before he can raise his other hand. Ha! Hello? KK emerges from the tunnel to find Rhoda waiting on the rest of the team. You made it! Of course I did. I hope you weren't too worried. It's good to see you in a welcoming party. It's embarrassing to admit, but I was actually starting to get a little worried. Rinko and Ed's monitoring system was off the charts. All kinds of activity around here. And then we got here and you were gone and didn't come right back up. It was a long few minutes just trying to play it cool. If I lost you, what would I have left? Not very much, I'm afraid. There are plenty of things in your life more weather than me. That's just it, I guess. I'm being selfish, I think. When I see you, when I think about everything you've been through, I know that we're similar people, except you're much stronger. If you didn't survive, how could I ever? Maybe we're not totally the same on the surface or whatever. Not at all the same, but the loss of that you experienced deep down. If anyone could possibly understand, it's you. Please, Erica, don't focus on me. Sure, I am back this time, but it could have gone the other way. It's hard to explain to someone young like you. She's been through so much, but has her whole life ahead of them. You have to live here for yourself. Can't help anyone else's situation until you get control of your own. Finger guns! I know your heart. It may be broken. But you know what your father did to your family. I'll... And I'll never forgive him. But those broken pieces are in the right place. You need to be stronger for yourself than you can stand beside me and Rinko and Ed. We can put our lives on the line for the people we love together. Even then, things are going to be fine. Just wait and you see. Stiffy above ground, reunited with his team. Kiki turns his attention to the original source of all of his drama. His young client, Ryota. You're never going to tell me, were you? Sasuke isn't your best friend. He's your dog. <laughs> it was a fucking dog! <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. You, 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 you pick the dog. You go pick the dog. I bet I go poop your snoot. <laughs> Fucking dog. He's my dog and my best friend, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Kate says back nervously as Sasuke tries to jump into his lap, tail wagon. Oh, calm down. He just wants to be pet. Jeez. Who would have thought that such a tough as nails former detective would have such a strong phobia around dogs? Don't have to broadcast it all right. Don't be scared. Sasuke loves everyone. Maybe you should draw the line at living monsters and follow them into the sewer. Ryota hugs his dog against a face full of licks in response. KK re relaxes slightly, seeing how harmless this little dog is, but still keeps him distance. Thank you so much for bringing him home safely, Mr. KK. Mr. KK? What an adorable alias. When exactly you start going by this new short nickname, KK? I suppose it was fun <laughs> I suppose that's a fun ring to it, not quite so formal as your full name. K. Before we get to sight, what the fuck? His glasses are off. What the fuck? As lead investigator on this, you've got some paperwork to do, KK. I'm not sure what's worse, fighting monsters or filling out these damn forms. It's obviously for fighting the paperwork. He scribbles out a few quick lines, only Ed can read them. Hey, kid, this is for you. Oh, is there a prize for helping you find that ghost? Almost. It's the bill. He's gonna be the fucking... <laughs> and Rayo's face thinks that he's loved on the chat. Thank you for you. Today's work is pro bono. It means free. Consider this for your receipt. I'm feeling generous right now. Rena looks closely at the paper in his hand. It says, Case of the Cursed Manhole. Extermination complete. KK. Leaning over his shoulder, Wrinkle lets out an inch kind of characteristically loud burst of laughter. Now I get it. You didn't choose the nickname, KK. Sloppy paperwork chose it for you. There's a lot in this life that we don't get to choose. Call me what you like. Not like I've got any useful real name these days. It's definitely not one of my old names. It doesn't matter to anyone who calls me a soul. I find that 
bastard! KK's gaze looks fierce as though he's recalling a bitter past. Reflected in his eyes is Ryota, who looks pleased to have received KK's autograph. KK's expression softens up in response. That said, I guess KK's not so bad. Ah, it was so cute. It was a doggy, a little puppy whoopy. We didn't be mean to the kid. See, we're not always bad. Yeah. I kind of wish that KK kind of died. I'm not gonna lie. I was a black man. I come with some drama shit. Like, you know, he got stabbed with his fucking hand, your fucking fist. He got fisted in his titties. You know. Anyways, I don't know why this game got so quiet for. That was all fun. That was great. I loved it. I can't wait to play the actual game now. It was very cute. Lots of reading. You guys impressed with my reading and my acting? I'm so good at it. Anyways, I don't say anything else so much for being here for watching. For liking, commenting, and subscribing. We're going to be playing the real game. And it will be posted tomorrow for the real game. We're going to... Uh, Try to get the first couple hours in, and then go from there. Um, I haven't played uh, The Evil Within, which I believe that's the games that they created previously. Uh, this team, at least. So, this should be fun. But it's ghosts, and I like ghosts. Spooky, scary skeletons, and shivers down my spine. <laughs> but thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Like I said, thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Stay be safe out there. Make good choices. And with consent, touch boobs. See you guys in the next stream. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bitches. Fuck, bitches get paid.